Hello everyone, Big Man here. So, we're back here again, um, in the submarine hole. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, um, I should probably show you this. <laughs> it's slightly different. <laughs> I, I basically said, you know what, the thing I made last time was, it, it looked like the inside of a butthole. So, I've made this instead, which looks less like the inside of a butthole. Maybe the outside of a butthole, but at least not the inside. We're going to be working out ballasts today, and I guess I'll show you how to make ballasts, and hopefully you do it properly, and don't drown, kids. Yeah, lesson one, don't drown. So the first thing is, is you're going to want to have ballast tanks. Now, in, in the previous video, obviously, we did make ballast tanks, and they're basically just big water bottles, and you fill them with water. I've got this big, thick thing, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole in the front and a hole in the back. Nice. Now, in terms of actually making the ballasts, you're going to need fluid port in and a fluid port out. It doesn't really matter. I think... With, it, it, yeah, it really doesn't matter which end you make your in and out, but whatever end you do, just make sure you, that they're not the same, you don't have two ins or two outs. Two outs is not so bad, because you know, you, you're not pumping anything out if there's nothing in there in the first place. If they both go in, you are going to get sunk to the bottom of the ocean, and uh, toodaloo. I recommend having one hat one pumping in and one pumping out so i've got this front one is going to be my intake and then the rear one is going to be my output outtake output outtake's not a word you know for an english speaker i'm not very good at it now that you've got that what we're going to do is i'm going to hook my one key up to these front two i'm going to hook my two key up to these back two so we've got one as our fill and two as our empty what you are going to want to do now is in each one of your tanks you're going to not get a fluid spawner no you're going to get a no um yeah fluid meter that's definitely the first thing i saw so put that anywhere and get a couple dials so we're just going to put those on the ground i'm going to hook those up to our fluid level not a fluid capacity the fluid capacity is the max amount of water we can have in there but we want to know how much water is in there we can know about the fluid capacity later on when we're down the track but for now we don't need to know how fat we can get we just need to know how fat we are now that that's all sorted um if you have l yeah no just put infinite electric on please it's as simple as that thank me later like really you will it's so easy okay now whoops i just jumped in the w no don't oh you bastard i'm just gonna hop in hit one and i'm just going to come back here and as you can see we're filling up and yeah um this is a case of wait until these stop moving if they stop moving and you haven't sunk underwater, you need to fill more water or you need to increase the weight of your submarine. Now these ballast tanks, I think are going to be about 2,500 liters, I'd say, as an estimate. And that I feel that is heaps, so I'm going to do the weight increase method. You could always increase the size of your ballast tanks, but I like the size of these. I think they look good. I think the submarine actually looks much better than the previous one because it's less of a butthole. And we can do that. I don't have to use an escape chair. I can just walk around. Okay, yep, so 2,367 liters, and we are partially underwater. I'm going to, firstly, try and armor the floor, I guess? I'm basically going to turn the floor into a giant, thick piece of steel that is really heavy. Does it remind me of your mother? Yes. I think maybe some batteries chuck those in there i might get some more white blocks again and just put them out like that so it's it looks really structurally strong remember white blocks are more dense than batteries but you have to have somewhere to put your batteries if you've got an electric submarine underneath works um because batteries don't get waterlogged in this game and i guess a real lead acid battery i'm assuming these are lead acid they could be lithium ion either way it's electricity you don't want water and electricity yeah this this should be fine it looks like we're almost able to hey 
Okay. I'm under the water. Now that I've got that, I'm going to hit one off and put two on so that we're pumping out. At least I hope. Let's... Are we, are we losing water? We're losing water. Oh, not a lot of water. A. A. We've reached positive buoyancy. A, A, A. We can continue pumping out and we've got up to the surface. Okay, so that's that's basically how ballasts are done. Um, let's look at some, I guess, tips and tricks and stuff. I'm going to keep pumping these out. So the first thing is that these pumps suck because... Let's be honest, what do you think is better? Fluid pump that takes up three blocks, or something called a large fluid pump that weighs two and a half times as much and takes up eight blocks. I wonder which one pumps more water. So I'm going to do a cheeky little something called, oh, oh wait, can I, can I, um, oh, this is gonna take some working. Okay, so in theory, that'll still be sealed. Um, but we've now got an issue that actually my fluid port's there so i'm just gonna yeah it doesn't matter it doesn't matter no one's gonna see it if i'm looking like this who cares who really cares you could put some funny lights there i don't know make it look pretty uh yes there are some blocks here now but we can always change those out for solid straight pipes when we put the engine in eventually you, you always learn how to get around these things what else can we do oh yeah we should probably hook them up like probably let's spawn this in if it sinks instantly in well it hasn't sunk instantly so that's good if we go into photo mode you can see that actually it's not full of water so the ceiling has worked however we have forgot a fluid port we probably shouldn't do that if you're an idiot and you know clap your hands i'm just gonna save this because i know my game will crash because let's be honest it still works it will crash another thing about the added weight is that it's got a lower center of gravity and that means that the actual correctional force is much higher right let's pump in and give it a minute and let's see how that goes we're going underwater We are under the water. Alrighty, um, press two, and you can see we've got lots of water going out. Lots of water. Lots of water. Lots of water, yeah! We've achieved positive buoyancy, so we are going upwards. <laughs> That's meant to be in kind of angel glowing sound. That sounded really bad. And we can continue pumping out if we want the submarine to sit even higher in the water. Yeah, oh my god, I can't believe I made that noise. What? Um. Hello? Either way, I guess that works. Um, well, is there anything else I need to show you? No. Can you go do it yourself now? Yes, go do it. If you want to copy the submarine bit by bit, here's a walk around so you can do so by memory or watching. If you don't want to copy me, that's good because that's plagiarism. Um,. But otherwise, yeah, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully, unless I die. Goodbye!